research entitled NotiPlot, the development and evaluation of automatic water level alarm system device utilizing Arduino technology. For the introduction, nowadays, because of climate change, we are now facing a lot of natural disasters all over the world. One of them is about floods. We are developing a flood warning device. The device will send us a message when the water level in a certain area is rising. There are multiple devices that has already been developed that is in use in current times, but they are expensive and mostly under government projects. So good morning. This is our background of the study. The Philippines is ranked third among other countries for disasters that affects over 100 million people that ranges 80% that, that, that causes 80% deaths and 90% that are affected by these natural disasters. Floods are is a common occurrence when storms or typhoon lands in a certain areas in the country. Like this April 21, 2021, the tropical storm Agaton hit a land hit in the eastern Versailles region where it, there were confirmed 75 casualties and 28 missing people and 920,722 that are affected by that storm. Um, it was confirmed by the NDMRC. Um, with the hazardous uh, natural disasters like this, floods can be managed and avertable, like um, like having a ultrason uh, ultrasonic sensors that can be attached to bridges, coastlines, and rivers in cities that can monitor rising, le rising levels of water that is equipped with a centralized flood information system that can provide communities with flood warnings in real time. And now let's proceed in conceptual frameworks. Here in conceptual frameworks, you can find the IPO or the input process and output of our project. In input, or what we need before we start constructing our product, we need our knowledge in programming. Since our our project is Arduino based, we need to create create code so we can run our Arduino based on our preferred functionality. Second, we need our knowledge in electronic wirings to connect our sensors and in planning or in how will work our prototypes and in designing our casing. Then, and also we need our knowledge in installing to install our sensors. And now, here's the hardware that we need before we start creating our prototype. Arduino Uno, our reference meter, our F receiver, and water level sensor, buzzer, and PVC, type, and PVC pipe. So now, let's proceed in process. Um, first, we need to do is plan to plan what will what will look our prototype and also how it works. Then, in designing, after planning, we, we need to design our prototypes. Then, after designing and finalizing our plan, we need to gather those materials. And after gathering those materials, we need to test if they if they are working properly. Then, if if after testing, we need to program our device. After programming our device, we need to install it to our to our prototype. Then, after installing, we need to test if our prototype is working based on what preferred functionality we want. Then, finally, we have our NotiFlood, a flood monitoring device. Objectives of the study. On the first objective, this is our highlight to know if the Arduino-based water monitoring system would work during calamities. Um, our, um, our prototype must not fail when it comes to its replacement. So for number two, to know if Arduino-based water monitoring system can be used even without electricity. For number three, to know how far the Arduino-based water monitoring system can transmit data. When it is placed on its original placement, uh, we, we must know how, um, how far our prototype can transmit the data. And lastly, to know if the device could be sold in the market. For significance of the study, this study aims to develop a prototype that could help everyone. So we have provided some citizens that might need our prototype. Yeah. If there is a flood on a place that the drivers will pass by, the, the prototype can help them to prevent going into that place. To the students, the prototype can help them to prepare for the flood and avoid accidents. For the parents, the prototype can help them if the flood if not, is not safe anymore, so they will not send their child to risk their life. To the community, the, the prototype can help them updated 
so they could be prepared for the worst case scenario. To the future researchers, the, st the, the study can help them support their research and could guide them throughout their research. For the scope and the limitation, the intent involves how the Arduino's application on not notifying the people on flood updates. This covered that notified Arduino's, Arduino's application on not notifying the people on flood updates in grade 12 STEM. This also covers the function of effectiveness of the said device, especially during an emergency. So, good morning. This is the definition of terms. The following terms is a conceptually and operationally used in our research paper. To people in the area, it can use LED lights, alarms, or visual display. So, here in RRL, our prototype focuses in places that prone in flood and places that are near in rivers. When the rain is heavy, our prototype can be used as an alternative devices to give warning or for the people to know when they will evacuate. We use GSM on our devices to transmit message and it also has alarming system that when the water rises, it will make sounds or ring. At the same time, the LED lights will blink. And lastly, it can be seen in the visual display when it detects a changes or rise in water. So good morning for the synthesis of, RR, of RRS. This device were developed to alert people during flash floods to reduce number of casualties. This device can possibly provide safe routes for evacuation to prevent any injuries and open wounds that could lead us into different kinds of diseases. Therefore, we conclude that our device were developed and well studied by the researchers to help the people to be alert and aware while the water is rapidly rising and also to lessen the casualties from the from hazardous effect of flash floods. For the research design, the researchers use observation studies under the descriptive research. This type of research is under non-experimental research. This will help the, the, the researchers observe and evaluate not flood. And this type of research and method will help the researchers evaluate the said device and test its effectiveness of its components, especially during the times where it is expected to function well. So this research expects that the device is working properly on its expected function and during the times where it's expected to work properly, such as heavy rainfalls and flash floods. But this type of research, but, um, it will help us observe our prototype and evaluate this and its functions. But. So for the sampling method, we the researchers use the strap stratified voluntary type of sampling method. Um, this, is a this is a sampling method that divides the entire population into subgroups. But this stratified sampling method differs in that the collection of respondents in the subgroup is not randomly selected, but it is done voluntarily. The participants of the study, to determine the, the total number of partic participants, we use the solvent formula to determine how many respondents that we, uh, no, we need to reach. <clears throat> for the research instrument for that we, the researchers, use an online survey questionnaire using a Microsoft Forms to collect the research data. Then, the, re the research questionnaire is divided into three, three parts, namely demographic profile, research question, and, word, and, and the re respondent signature. For the statement of the problem, it is divided into four parts. First is the reliability of our device, the beeping sound, the water level reading, and the, the visibility of the light. Next is the Arduino base, if our device would work without AC electricity around the area, the battery type of the, and the quality of it, the choice of battery, and the battery is durable and replaceable. replaceable. How far our transmission range is? The transmission rel reliability, which means if it's transmitted device, transmitted data is accurate, next is transmission range, how, meaning how far can we transmit the data and the transmission delay based on its distance. Lastly, if the Arduino base is applicable for the market, its merchantability and investability by the government. For the prototype testing, it is divided into four parts, which is our components. First is water sensors. We are using two water sensors that are connected into analog data input. It, is, it should be determined 
determine its indicated water level and it pass the test. Next is the RF transmitter, specifically 433 MHz RF transmitter and receiver. It, it is connected into digital input and it should trans transmit measured water data, water level data properly. It passed our test. Next is the buzzer module. For the buzzer module, it is connected into digital input and it should it should be in correspondence to the data that is transmitted with, with a proper delay. It passed the test. Lastly, the LED light that we are using. It is connected into digital input together with the buzzer module and it should link together with the beep of the buzzer module and it also passed the test. For the overall results, for the overall results, each sensor detect water level on its indicated water level. Transmission this the transmitter device can transmit data properly and the receiver device can beep and blink with when detected water level is transmitted. So so the demographic profile of the respondents. In presentation of data analysis, category one. Reli reliability, the main results from the survey response of this category shows that the respondents are strongly agreeing in the each of the question, meaning the device is producing a good sound, the LED light is visible and has an accurate, accurate water level reading. Reliable is according to the results of the mean. The survey shows that the respondents are mostly strongly agree in each of the questions. It means that the devices we created are functioning correctly and re reliable. Based on the data we have gathered, our prototype is reliable and can be an alternative to detect rising water and our, and our prototype can help the people near the flooded area. In category two, battery. The main source from the survey responses of this category shows that, res that the respondents are strongly agreeing in each of the questions, meaning the device's battery is long lasting, replaceable, and, and a good choice for this project. According to mean results on, the bat on battery, that the respondents are mostly strongly agree. It means that battery that we use in the device are long lasting and replaceable. So for the category three, which is transmission. The main results from the survey responses of this category shows that the respondents are, strong, are strongly agreeing in each of the questions, meaning the device using a good transmission device has a good, uh, has a good transmission range and acceptable transmission delay. So in category three shows that the transmission of our notified device has a good transmitter to transmit, the, to transmit the signal in its given maximum range of five meters. So next is the category four, which is the marketability. The main results of the survey responses for, of this category shows that the respondents are strongly agreeing in its questions, meaning that the, the, the device is good, at, good for marketing and the government bodies should invest on projects similar to this. We conclude that the, that the device is applicable in the market. So the government should so should invest into this kind of device, especially those who are in a flood-prone communities. Our device is very affordable for, for such people who cannot afford, like devices who, who had a large amount of price to avail. Thank you. For the summary of findings, for the category of reliability, most of the answers received by the researchers are agreed. For the category of battery, most of the responses received by the researchers are agreed. The result of category, category of the transmission was rated agreed by the most of respondents. The result of category of the marketability was related agreed by the, by the most of the respondents. In conclusion, our prototype was generally agreed by the respondents and proved that the prototype could possibly help the environment. And the outcome outcome of the survey concerning the four categories, reliability, battery, transmission, and the mar marketability mostly falls under the agree category. The study and the respondents, respond, respondents proved that the automatic water level alarm system device can be used in places that, in, that needed this kind of technology. Recommendation. The future researchers should use more measuring device since using two water level sensor can only measure two different water level where it's attached to. The researcher recommend that the next researchers 
could use different water level measuring device or other device that can measure height such as ultrasonic sensor and float type. With the current researchers advice that the next researcher should use better transmitting devices such as MS module wherein it can transmit or why on wider distances and multiple receiving devices. For better quality of sounds, the future researchers should use better type of sound system, such as magnetic buzzers or siren, since it has the capability to produce better quality of sounds and different volumes. For the power source of the transmitting device, we as the researchers recommend to use the self-sustaining devices such as solar panels connected to a battery storage so it could lessen the annual exchange of the battery. In terms of other casting and designs, we recommend that the casting... Uh, in terms of outer casting outer and design, we recommend the casting should be applicable in different types of places where it could operate on a different time and weather. The researchers are highly recommending that the future project related to this should be should use a better type of batteries like lithium ion batteries or a solar panel uh, powered battery. Thank you.